Answering your questions about my brick floor, part one. We installed this brick in our house before we moved in, in 2020, and that was before I had TikTok. So I'm gonna try to explain the process using old video from stories on Instagram and also with some leftover materials that we have. This is the thin brick that we use. The company takes a real brick, they cut off the face and then glue it onto this webbing system. So it's just like um, buying those sheets that you would install for backsplash, uh, which makes it way easier because instead of installing individual bricks, we were able to install like 12 at a time. Wherever your wall is at that you're starting on, no matter what corner of the room it is, you just need to make sure that the ones hanging off are the ones against the wall. That way, when you go to place your next sheet over, it will land right on top of the sheet that you just mortared. What we're trying to do is we're just making sure that from one sheet to the next, that this line is fairly straight and that we have left enough distance here and enough distance here. We started with making cuts using an angle grinder. Then John used a quarter inch trowel to apply the thin set and lay the sheets of brick. This process is just like a regular tile job. He did use a level along the way to make sure the floor was flat as possible. Then we overpiped the grout lines with sanded grout. I followed with a 3 8 inch tuck pointer to flatten the grout flush with the brick. Once it was dry, I used a soft brush and a shop vac to remove the excess grout. Watch part two to see how I sealed the floors.